Taurus, how are you? Hope you're well, hope you're doing well. Hope this reading finds you well. This is your reading for... This is your reading for April. This is your monthly reading for April. So I'm going to pull some Prism Oracle and then we'll do some tarot cards. Three of these and 12 of the rest, I think is what we're going to do. Ideation. Working on your ideas, working on some ideas for balance. Ooh. Movement. So it's one orange and two greens. Ideation, balance, movement. That's really standing out on me that it's like a orange sandwich with an orange sandwich with green bread. I mean, be careful if you're eating green bread because green bread could be moldy bread. So we don't want anyone eating moldy bread. That's for sure. So your ideas, your dreams, your visions, the things that you've been thinking about, things that you're hoping to come up with, the things that you have been thinking about coming up with, are going to lead to balance and movement forward. Also, what I'm getting is, once you are balanced, then you can move forward. Move forward with balance. Three of Pentacles, so it's definitely talking about a job in some way. Mm -hmm. Wow, Three of Pentacles, then Two of Pentacles. Suited running numbers, like to see that. Getting your ducks in a row, Four of Wands. So success, happiness, completion. Wow, so I'm getting your soul's completion in a certain job, Taurus. In these ideas that you've had for a job that can bring balance and you can move forwards. Because in the past you've been stuck with this energy, the devil. So try not allowed to be, try not to let your energy be sapped by negative emotions is actually what I'm getting two coming at the same time seven of wands being smart is what I'm getting on that because the magician came out at the same time okay so you might find that you've got rivals because of your manifestations your ideas your your ideas in balance in work in moving forwards how to progress your life. Okay, Taurus, you might find that you have some rivals, competition, in that area, in that zone of your life. So as above the Three of Pentacles, so below the star. So this work is possibly to do with healing. You are going to be healing others or you will be healed by this work. Could also mean that this job involves an Aquarius. I'm getting the same sort of healing vibe on that. Sleeping, healing, resting, healing. Sleeping, healing, resting, healing. Mm. 
So I'm not getting that nostalgic feeling that often is related to the Six of Cups. This is to do with maybe visiting an idea, an idea, an idea that you had in the past. It was a quality idea, it was a good idea. And someone stole your idea? Someone ran away with your idea. You spoke of your idea to the wrong person. Someone that you thought that you could trust, because this is coming underneath the devil, so. You spoke to the wrong person. Well, you didn't think it was the wrong person. It was someone that you thought you that you could trust. You didn't make a mistake. It's just a life lesson. And you told them of your idea. And that's where the competition is coming from as well. That's why there's that seven of wands and I'm getting the, that feeling on it. The emperor underneath the seven of wands. Well, definitely people, you know, people would get competitive with an emperor type energy. Wouldn't they? Because, well, because they are the emperor. Not, ne not necessarily a guy. Could be speaking of a girl. Okay, well that one did skip out. Queen of Swords. Underneath the Magician. So don't be afraid to engage logic, engage the mind with your ideas, with your manifestations, with your hopes, with your dreams. I'm getting the feeling that balance is an absolute key thing towards your movement forwards. Also notice how this looks a little bit like, looks a little bit like the Eight of Wands. Has that sort of Eight of Wands vibe about it, but it also does look like the Seven of Wands. A bit. For when you are balanced, for when you are balanced, you can, moving forward is easy. Pulling off tricks is easy. I mean, you have the Three of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. So, just because, I mean, just because the Devil showed up and the Five of Swords showed up like this, it doesn't mean that you're going into that energy now. That is a past energy, because you got that before the Five of Swords. So don't forget to meditate, release, relax, let go, release, release. But if you're going to be having to be dealing with someone in the past, and I'm not getting it in a love way, I'm getting it maybe in a work way, the person who you said your idea to, and they nicked it, if there's someone like that, it's because they know that you are, you have great prowess, is the phrase that I'm getting on this Emperor card. And as this is your final card, the Queen of Swords, to come after the Emperor, looking into the future with back to the past. Also, what I notice in this deck is how their thrones look like cups. And I that is standing out at me as like a, a loving energy, looking into the future with compassion and forgiveness. Forgiving this person who needs your idea and letting go of it, and also forgiving yourself for telling them and telling the wrong person. Okay? Okay, Taurus, thanks for being here. That is your, that was your April reading. Take care. God bless. Peace be the journey. Click.